All right, welcome to the first 2010-11 UNI basketball vlog done by the Courier. This one I'm flying solo on, trying out some new equipment, so hopefully this is something we can continue throughout the season. Of course, the reason I'm on here today is the official news now that UNI is going to be opening up its 2010-11 season at, of all places, Syracuse. Uh, of course, I tweeted this a couple weeks ago, and it was rumored for a few weeks. Of course, now it's official, though. We can really sink our teeth into this matchup, even though it's only about four months ahead of time. But uh, you look at this game, it's wild. It's probably the most high-profile season opener you and I has ever had in men's basketball. But it's kind of wild. You look at the teams and break them down at the season's outset and how they're going to look on paper. There's a lot of similarities. You and I was 30-5 and five last year. Syracuse was 30 and 5 last year. You and I went to the Sweet 16. Syracuse went to the Sweet 16. You and I had its lead coach of the year in Ben Jacobson. The Orange had a guy who's won a lot of coach of the years in the Big East, Jim Beheim. So they both had coaches of the year. And you and I, when you look at its team that's going to be coming back, they returned six guys who averaged at least 11 minutes per game last year. Guys like Kajoa Hellebud, Jake Cook, Johnny Moran. You look at Syracuse, they lost a guy like Wesley Johnson, who was kind of their linchpin last year. They lost him to the to the NBA lottery, but they do return guys like forward Rick Jackson, who averaged 9.7 points per game last year, and guard Scoop Jardine, who averaged 9.1 points per game and 4.3 assists per game, so they certainly have a lot of star power back. The thing that uh, is going to separate these teams a little bit, too, and maybe throw you and I out of whack a little bit, is the venue this game is going to be played in, people. This is going to be played in the largest on-campus basketball arena in the United States, the Carrier Dome. Seats almost 49,000 for football, 33,000 for basketball. You and I is not used to anything like that. Uh, this is going to be a wild game indeed. You look at some of the numbers in this game that are that do kind of separate Syracuse from you and I. Jim Beheim is a legend in this game. He has 829 career wins to his credit at the outset of 2010-11 here. You look at you and I, Ben Jacobson is very young, decorated coach, but he's young. If he wins the season opener here, he will win his 90th career game as a head coach. He has 89 right now. Jim Beheim has 829. So that will be a wild matchup indeed. But I think if you know Coach Jacobson, he likes that challenge. So it's only August. It's still technically summer, but I think everybody's kind of ready to fast forward things here to November 12th when you and I visit Syracuse. That's it for today's you and I Courier Basketball vlog. We hope to be doing this a lot throughout the season. So check back Remember, you can always check, follow me on Twitter at Kelly at Courier, K-E-L-L-Y-A-T-C-O-U-R-I-E-R. -E -E Thanks for checking in. Check back periodically.